part. Um, who ended the Cold War? Was it us or was it them? <laughs> well, the sh short, easy, and I think correct answer is both. I mean, obviously, the end of the Cold War is, was precipitated by the collapse of the Soviet Union, uh, a process that we had a lot to do with, but was also the function of the uh, mistakes that they had made, the limitations of the Soviet system, the fact that nationalism had returned with a vengeance, the Warsaw Pact was slowly uh, rebelling, the fact that Gorbachev's efforts to reform the system had unleashed a series of forces uh, that ultimately spun out of control, out of his control. Um, but at the same time, the United States played a critical role in how it ended. Um, and in fact, I always use this as an example of the value of diplomacy. Because when you think about it, ultimately the victory in the Cold War was a victory not secured on a battlefield. It wasn't uh, primarily due to the triumph of the U.S. military over the Soviet army, thank goodness, but rather it was done over a negotiating table where the, mostly the first Bush administration, uh, late President Bush and his team, negotiated the peaceful dissolution of the Warsaw Pact, the reunification of Germany, uh, managed the turbulence of the Soviet breakup without it spinning out of control, which it could have done, um, and managed to do this all, you know, sort of by accommodating and making various promises as well uh, to the Soviets slash Russians through this. So it, when you think about it, it's one of the great successes of American foreign policy that we managed to uh, come out on the uh, upside of this competition, but at the end of it then uh, managed it as, as smoothly and uh, peacefully as we did. And again, it was primarily a remarkable diplomatic achievement. One of the great worries of, of people who are students of international relations was that in the process um, that Russia, the essentially the, the successor state, would feel humiliated. Um, there was a lot of suffering. There was a rapid impoverishment of right. many uh, when, when all the subsidies were suddenly gone and the Soviet Union was gone. There was an opportunity for great uh, resentment and backlash amongst the population. How did President George Herbert Walker Bush manage the process with that in mind, sort of avoiding the humiliation that you saw of Germany after uh, World War I? Um, I think both he and uh, Secretary of State James Baker uh, showed remarkable empathy, not, not at every moment. They played hardball in a number of places, but they showed remarkable empathy for what Gorbachev in particular was going through. Um, but most importantly, they also made some promises, which the, ult the United States ultimately did not keep. The most important one was that NATO would not expand beyond the reunification of Germany. Um, and that, you, that would, the eastern part of Germany, when Germany reunified, could be considered then part of NATO, but we would not stand one inch eastward, uh, is I believe the phrase that Baker used. And Gorbachev and his team made, I think, a fundamental mistake at that point by not getting that pledge in writing. Right. It was an oral assurance made uh, more than once, um, and it's been the source of much dispute amongst Russians, 